is Steve McCarthy uh, and Jenny from Stormy Sky Rail Productions. We're in Broadhead, Wisconsin at uh, Historical Railroad Depot. Uh, we're going to be taking a tour of this place, which is really cool so far to see. So here's our tour guide, and she'll be explaining uh, stuff to us in inside the depot. Hi, my name is Dolores Austin, and I'm happy to show you around. And uh, please ask questions as we go along. Um, we kind of went through uh, the beginning of our of Broadhead Railroad. Uh, the actual name of our town, Broadhead, was uh, in honor of the chief engineer of the railroad, Edward H. Broadhead. Um, and thank you for signing our guest book. We appreciate this. We do have all of the Wisconsin uh, railroads uh, in our history here of uh, operating in Wisconsin. Um, Broadhead was formed in uh, 1986 or 85, I'm sorry. And um, yeah, 1956, Broadhead was founded. In 1957, the Southern Wisconsin Railroad arrived in Broadhead and terminated in Monroe. Okay, so that always ter terminated in Monroe, then it never went further west. <laughs> yeah. um, so what, what's the story behind the, uh, the Decatur and then the Southern Town? Oh, okay. Yes, Broadhead was uh, founded... The railroad actually found us. Um, there were uh, two towns. One was called Decatur, which is north of here. It's where I live in Decatur Township. And the other one in the south was Avon. And they came in and wanted to do a railroad in both of those communities. And they all said no. And that's how Broadhead, in between those two, got it. Got the town. Decatur moved there. They had many stores and businesses and the homes. They moved that all to Broadhead. I mean, it wasn't a huge community, but it was flourishing. Um, and so that's how we became a have a railroad here. Very cool. Yeah. This is a, a needle. Um, this is the old wall uh, in its heyday. It was 1910 to 1915. And at one time, uh, this place was in total disarray. I think there is a photo over here. I'm trying to see. I did see it one time. I can't, you know, there's so much in this place. I learn something new every day. Yeah. But it was in total disarray. It, it was just empty and it was crumbly and just looked terrible. And in the 1970s, I believe it was, they started re, uh, redoing it. And they just put the Broadhead Historical Society was actually in charge of all this. Uh, so, so this, <laughs> so this line passed here. Uh, for everybody's knowledge, used to be the Milwaukee Road, and then uh, after that, um, Wisconsin Southern Railroad now uh, operates this Blackco. And here we have some of the familiar stuff that I used on the railroad. Back when I started, uh, not so much at the end, a lot of it was well, hydraulic, but there's my favorite tool right there, the spike mall. That was my favorite job on the railroad. And then we had some uh, tie tongs <laughs> and some rail and some different jacks and stuff like that, and oil cans, lanterns, uh, hand tools. So. Um, I guess we can move on. In fact, when you're talking about the objects here, this happens to be one, something I donated from my parents. Wow. That's cool. Yes. And that's, and uh, just, uh, just about everything is donated here. All the, uh, we have many volunteers that really help us out with, uh, we're open on Saturdays, Sundays, and Wednesdays from 1 to 4, and we open on the last weekend of Memorial Day, and then we end in September. Um, we have one coming up in uh, uh, October, I think it's October 6th, uh, on a 
Saturday, and that's going to be like a fall festival. So we're going to be open all day that day. Uh, this is another one, the interesting, I'm sure you've seen this in the past with the oh, yeah. benches, why the, why the dividers. Right, right, yeah, we, uh, we had the old Sturdivant Depot, we did a, a, a video on last year. Yes, there's a local artist that did this painting. And of course, all of the... Uh, the great dishes, dishes, etc., from the Milwaukee Road. Very nice. We have another good one over here. This was well. This was the Broad and Rail Yards, eighteen ninety to nineteen ten. It's just a uh, put together, uh, showing you the the blacksmith shop, the cooling bed, the depot, water tower, etc. Wow, very nice. <clears throat> I always liked. Uh, that places like this can preserve uh, their history and heritage with the old railroad stuff. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of places that we wished uh, that would do that that don't. Yes. And this is uh, Milwaukee Road uh, dining car tableware. Wow. That we have. Milwaukee Road dining tableware. Yes. yes. And the, the photos, too. Yep. I mean, in luxury, to me, that was pure luxury when you see that dining car and they're sitting there with with all this uh, tableware, which you don't see anymore. Right. <laughs> On planes or anything, it's, it's not there anymore. Right. And then, too, this was our Broadhead's first brigade band uh, in the Civil War. There, There is a article about how that was founded. Um, and they were actually were in Huntsville, Alabama when they played there. And they're still going today. We just had them on covered bridge days. They came on a Sunday, the band, and uh, they were playing homage to one band member's family members. And, and they had a church service in the morning in the park back of us. And then they also had a uh, band playing in the afternoon. Very nice. And it, it, very, very nice. Yes. So there is a history of the first brigade band that people can look up. We do have a website also too. We'll provide all that information of where this place is and everything else in the link in the description of this video. Yes. There is a little, little history here but i know you can yeah that. um and, and, and everything will be on the website i presume a lot of information there should be on the website yes you should be able to see it uh we're in the process of adding all the time to the website photos and um uh, with information on a lot of our industry that we had at one time what it was this is all of course, cheese is a big thing in Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, cheese. Cheese factories. We had popcorn stand. We had pickle factory. Um, uh, red dot chip, potato chips, uh, caramel corn. <laughs> uh, lots and lots of things going on. And this is all of the old, a lot of these are the old, old photos. Lots well, of great history. Preserved. Yeah. Uh, and there are, like this one here, you'll see this. It's here. If, if you noticed it when you came in, we can see it out through the window here, that that building. It's still standing. Wow. Very good condition. Um, this building is also standing. There's a, several of them. There was, you know, back then they had fires a lot, and it was wooden buildings, and they just... Like here, there was a downtown fire destroyed. Wow. Several buildings. That's crazy. Yeah, this was one of the oldest buildings. It was started out as a farmer's hotel, and then it ended up, it was a, uh, it was called Wishes. It was a bar, tavern. Wow. Oh. And of course, this street is, uh, 
you could just see all the cars. This place on Saturday night was just wall to wall. Oh yeah, cars was a big thing, and how things have changed. Night, fan, night, cool night. First, it was night manufacturing. Then, it, uh, in the I think it was uh, late 90, 1990s, early two thousand, became night Kuhn night manufacturing, and then they sold it in two thousand two to Kuhn. So it's Kuhn manufacturing, and it's a big. They do a, all these. Big, huge, um, oh, there I go, I'm, I have to get rid of that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, oh, and there's the original ticket counter right there of the train. Original ticket booth, uh, cool. Counter. Very nice. Um, let's see. As we come through here, we have the old phone. There you go for all you younger yeah. kids out there. That used to be a phone there. Yes. So way back in the day. Yes, and there is a, we still have the, the old phone book. Um, like this business was our Lions Drugstore and the phone number was 62. 62 for a phone number, how easy. And you would take <coughs> the phone, you and you would speak in here to the operator and tell, connect me with 6-2, please. There we go. <laughs> and I know I lived in the country on a farm, and we had uh, what they called... Um, party lines. Party uh, lines. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes you had one, you could never use it because someone would be on it. Mm -hmm. And this was done by uh, an art club in 1976. Uh, there was uh, several neat. from Broadhead. There were women, several women, uh, Broadhead, Monroe, Albany, and Davis, Illinois. They all participated in making that and painting that. And we just received this this spring. And the old 1900s general store. <laughs> are early, what I would call, charge cards. <laughs> you had numbers. And here, here's the list. Your number would be on here. You'd come in and you'd charge your groceries. And then at the end of the month or end of the week, whatever it was, you'd come in and you'd give them the number and they'd pull all your tickets out of here and you'd pay your bill. Wow, that's very neat. Yes. How about this? Uh a lot of younger people don't know what this is. <laughs> That's our cash register. Um, it was used in a furniture store and then later in a barber shop. But it is quite heavy. When they had to move this from our our storage area, they said, I don't want to ever move it again because it, it weighs a lot. It, it's, uh, and I don't know exactly how old it is, but it's it's pretty old. So here you go. Uh, this is the old-fashioned cash register back in the day. Mm -hmm. And this was what they weighed their items on. They could tell you how much a pound of something was cost you. Um, this guy here, he's kind of a, I came in here one time, I got to tell you this little story. I came in here, I was all alone one day, and I walked up through here, and I saw these feet laying here. And for a minute, I thought somebody was like, you're sleeping, when well, he had tipped over. Oh. His feet were on. <laughs> Scared the daylight out of me. <laughs> oh, and this one too, the, the old uh, Bill of Fair. We don't know what... What, where this was, what restaurant it was or anything, but the prices and everything are so neat out there to see that and the advertisement. Wow, check the prices out back then. Very neat, very neat. And this is our Western Union Telegraph and Cable Office. And there's a neat little photo of what it looked like back then. Wow. And this card is set. 
work on his uh, his switchboard, I would call it, for your telegraph. Very nice. All the night cool old insulators up in the window too. Those are neat looking. Our... The old ticket booth and yes, the ticket booth here, yes, is up here. And of course, at that time, there were men on one side and women on the other. Yep, back and in the day. Together. <laughs> back in the day. Yeah, and we have uh, just added this display on the different wars: the Civil War, World War One, Korean War, World War Two. Yeah, now. <clears throat> That's a nice print there. Old scale. Yeah. Up there was a schedule. It's getting pretty. I don't know if you'll be able to see much of it. The old train schedule. And we do have a historical society newsletter that is put out, so you're welcome to take one of these if you'd like. Sure. We'll come back after the tour and I'll, sure. I'll grab one. Yeah. Then we'll get information and stuff. So. Our museum hours. And by appointment, there's numbers too. Yeah. We've all, we haven't had to close. We did close one or two days when we had that really hot, hot weather. Okay. It was so high. And with fans going, it just didn't help you. It was, you know, there, there's no insulation. This is the old part. There's no heat, no air conditioning. No stove. And here we're back, coming back to the old vintage area. Yes. This one. Okay, so you're going next. There's someone out here. Oh, yeah. One of you want to. Okay. Now, this is my area. Ah, okay. All the maintenance way area and uh, the little carts, motorized carts, and uh, riding down the tracks, doing track work, and yes. all different tools. I know I had a gentleman in here once with, he had worked at, I forget where it was, it's my notes, um, and he was telling me different things that we should move around so you could see it, because there's, there's things back here that you can't see, Right. and if we maybe display them Better. So for everybody that doesn't know, so this track cart, they open up the door, they, they take it out towards the track and they put it on the track. That, that's what uh, this room is generally for, all the maintenance way tools and stuff, and then they move their carts to the track. Easily removed and uh, stored up for the night. Okay. And this is our Oh no, here displayed on the uh, when it was built. 1950, Fairbanks and Morse. This is actually the scale. We, stand. we have seventh graders that come in here every year uh, for the, in the spring, and they stand on here and get weighed. <laughs> wow, very cool old style scale. Yes. Yes. Very nice. And then all the different uh, things we have on display for and this is really interesting. One of our members, who's no longer with us, put this in. 
together. He had a, did a lot for the, his name was Early Wine. He did a lot of, uh, a lot of work with the Historical Society getting this done. Oh, Mark, you're all bay caboose. Walk inside, got the crew members' beds, benches, work areas, you got a stove, looks like a sink. The old stove. No bathroom. Take a peek inside. This is the old engineer seat here. All the control panel. And his view out the window on the back end. And his view out the other end of the unit. These are where the other crew members sat.
This is Steve and Jenny from Stormy Sky Rail Productions. We really like to thank Dolores for uh, giving us an inside tour of the Broadhead, Wisconsin uh, Old Historical Depot, uh, which was once a Milwaukee road, and now Wisconsin Southern runs the line through here. So hopefully everybody enjoys. Uh, we will have links uh, in the description for all this great information out here. And if you're ever in Broadhead, Wisconsin, please uh, come and stop by and sign their guest book. Until then, this is Steve and Jenny from Stormy Sky Rail Productions. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell.